Hi, this is Katie for Rusticate, and this time around I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy bed skirt. It's kind of a temporary fix, but in this particular case, my bed's made out of 2x4s, and I have a lot of my belongings stored underneath, so I kind of just want to make something to finish it off, give it a little bit more privacy under the bed. When you're trying to determine how much fabric you're going to need for your bed skirt, keep in mind that the average bed skirt is three sides, the left side, the right side, and the bottom. So you're going to need not only the added measurements of those three sides, but you're gonna need an extra 18 inches. And that's going to allow you to do the hem on both of the raw edges on the sides, as well as fold the corners. Next, I'm gonna measure the height, and that's the height from the board on the top where the mattress lays to about a half inch from the floor. For the height of the fabric, if you're going to be hemming the top and the bottom, you're going to need an, an inch more than the height of the measurement that you took. Now the piece of fabric that I'm gonna be using for the bed skirt is something I already had, and it's a piece of linen that I really like, and it's a very particular size. So I'm gonna try and make it work for this project. For this project, the things that are gonna be the handiest for you is number one, the fabric that you're gonna be using, number two is gonna be your tape measure, and number three is gonna be thumbtacks. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to iron your fabric. In this case, it's a cotton, so I'm setting the iron to a cotton setting, making sure all of the lumps and bumps and creases are out of it. Next, I'm going to start on the hem of the sides, on the height of it, and I'm going to fold it in a quarter of an inch and press. I then will fold it a quarter of an inch again and press it again, so it gives it a nice finished enclosed look. After you iron your folded hems, you're going to want to pin them down with just a few pins just to hold them in place. And I like to do that on the reverse side of the fabric and I like to do it perpendicular to the fold. And the reason I do that is that when I then go and sew, I can sew over the top of the needles without having to remove them. At that point, I'm going to then press the top and the bottom hems in a similar fashion. And now I'm ready to sew. So I'm gonna do it wrong side up and I'm gonna stitch along the outside of the press hem I'm going to cut the thread, remove the pins. At that point I'm going to turn it right side up. This time I'm going to stitch along the outside of the hem and I'm going to stitch as close as I can. Roughly I would say an eighth of an inch but even closer than that if you can do it consistently. And that's just gonna give it a really clean, flat, professional look. After you have sewn all of the hems, you're now ready to attach it to your bed frame. In this case, I have two by fours, so I'm just gonna simply use my metal thumbtacks and press them into the fabric and into the board, and this will hold it in place. And I like to add a few extra in the corner just to make it a little bit more decorative. I find that three is a good number. So I'm gonna do three tacks in each corner and then one tack along the top about a foot apart. And for me, I ended up with two pieces of fabric instead of being able to do one continuous part. So instead of stitching them together, I went ahead and did a side hem on each one and then did an overlap. And on the overlap, I overlapped it a half an inch and then I went ahead and did three tacks to hold that in place. So the most, the most difficult part of the whole bed skirt project is the corner because I really like the refined kind of tailored look that I end up with. And how you're going to achieve that is you want to take your tack and as you get near turning that corner around the end of the bed, you want to place the tack very near the corner. And once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and pull the fabric around the corner and pull it four inches down. And once it's you're four inches down the bottom of your bed frame, you're going to place a tack there to hold your place. Once, you've, once your place is held by that tack, you're going to fold the fabric back over that tack back towards the corner. And once you get it back to the corner, hold it in place. You're going to fold it again, going the opposite direction away from the corner. Once you've folded it, and it's going the other way, then you're going to place a tack on the corner going through all those different layers of fabric. You should have three layers of fabric. Once you place that tack, you can go ahead and go back and place extra tacks to have it more attractive and to match the other corners if you want. I like to do the, the three tacks on each corner. That just looks very finished to me. 
Once those tacks are placed, then you're ready to continue. And from then on, you'll just go ahead and you place a tack every 12 inches or every one foot until you're around to the next corner. Once the bed skirt is done, everything underneath is nice and hidden and out of the way. The room feels much more organized. I'm really happy with my bed skirt and I hope that you will be equally as happy with yours.